so Kish Fam Adventures, Discovery Cove 2018. This is one of our yeah, favorite spots. There the boys are. We're getting ready to go. We um we do this every time we come to Florida. It's our absolute favorite. And it's a nice relaxing day before you hit the parks. So we usually do try to do this before we do all the parks. Um, so this is an all-inclusive resort and it's right by SeaWorld. Uh, it's on the other side. It is so clean and beautiful and it is just so tranquil and relaxing. I absolutely, uh, I've been coming here years and I recommend it to everybody who asks me what to do in Florida because it is just amazing. It's a little on the pricey side but you also get free food, free alcohol, and um, it's a great energy expender because the boys can swim all day long. So basically you pull in and then uh, you go up to this area and you can bypass this if you want, but if you drive straight through, there's a nice little parking lot on the other side here. This is usually where we park and it's shaded too. Um, so, beautiful Florida sun as always. Love this place. So it is open around 7 a.m and uh, get there early today this was in november so it wasn't as busy but if you come in the summer months when it's peak time uh, we did stand in line we had gotten there around 7 30 and we had standed in we had stood in line for a while so do recommend getting there early but unless you're on off season like this was um beautiful clean uh just love it just absolutely love it you don't really need to bring much. They pretty much supply everything. So as you can see here, we just have our swimsuits. Uh, they don't want you to use any outside lotion either because of the dolphins and the uh, sea life. So pretty much bring yourself. Um, there are lockers, so you're gonna um, have a bag check up here. And uh, our little guy's still in Pampers, so we had obviously to bring that kind of stuff. They do have backup supply if you forget. Good morning. Uh, beautiful, beautiful mosaic tile on the ground. So uh, it starts off checking in, bag checks, you walk through, they take pictures, you can see our lanyards there that they have um, and you need to have them on all day so they know that you're in the park and then that also if you do the dolphin swim tells you where you need to go. They have changed it over the years yeah, with all the uh, information that's involved on there. You can also load your credit card for moms and dads, so that way you can uh, do whatever with just that card. You don't have to carry around anything else if you want to go to the shops. So there's a picture uh, down there is one of the Lazy River areas. Uh, you do need a photo ID if you are older than 18. Um, again, the credit card if you want to put on. Waivers need to be signed for minors if they're uh, uh, doing the um, dolphin swim. So we get a private cabana every year. Uh, I have spoiled my husband. I introduced him to this and now he won't go without one. So there's a picture of it. Uh, they do have a server there. It comes and waits on you. The refrigerator is fully stocked as you can see. And then they also bring a box of snacks for you so you don't have to go up. Um, if you want any of the special snacks or drinks or things like that, they'll bring all that back to you. You just have to request it from them. There are little to uh, buckets to play for the little ones. And then they're swimming, 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 swimming. Our little fish took to the water like no problem. I didn't even have to teach him how to snorkel. He just put it in and went. I was so amazed. So he loves it and it is heated so it's 74 on the on the lazy river side so it's nice even if it's chilly out. Uh, once you get over to the other areas where the fish are then it's a little on the cooler side because obviously they have to keep it uh, more like the ocean. Right, the on the other but uh, we just have such a great yep, time yeah, and it's a nice it relaxing day but you're still getting some cardio workout. Um, I think we went around the Lazy River and I always ask and I think they said it's a quarter mile around so we try to do I think we did 10 trips around this time it is one directional uh, they do keep you going one way and then there's a lagoon area where you can just kind of relax and they have a little grotto area where you swim through 
when I first came here, they didn't even have, all they had were uh, swim vests. They didn't have the noodles, but they have since got the noodles. It was a lot of swimming. Like you didn't have anything to kind of rest on. And uh, my older son and I, we just swam and swam and swam. I was, I was exhausted by the end of the day. But now they have these noodles and you can do more of a float uh, if you don't want to actively swim through some of the deeper areas. And it does um, go up and down eight feet, nine feet, I think is, a, is the deepest. And they have some visual things to look at with that uh, snorkeling. But you can see there are little fish. He loved it. So fun. And we, um, we took the GoPro and just basically GoPro'd the whole thing. I think it's so cool to see them under the water. Love it. They did add some um, nice experiences. You can go over to see marmosets. So there we are, swimming, swimming, swimming. Uh, they have marmosets now that you can swim up to see. That's where we're going here. Uh, there's a couple different areas. There's the grotto. The current in there is pretty, pretty fun. Um, it gets you sometimes. So they have lifeguards every few feet. You can see one there in the background. Um, there, there's not very much area that is not covered, so it's very safe. And then they want you to wear uh, the Discovery Cove wetsuits so that they. Right, yellow.